Hey, what's going on? It's your boy back at you with another vid, man. I'm sitting here chilling out. And uh, tonight, we're going to talk about um, uh, Kyrie Irving. And um, Kyrie Irving is such an irritant. You know how you got that fly that's on your food that cook out, and you keep trying to swat it away, and the fly just never goes 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 away. This is what Kyrie Irving is. And if I'm the Brooklyn Nets, why not just go ahead on and trade him and see what you can get? You're not going to win a championship with Kyrie and KD anyway. They've been here since what? 2019, what have they done? They have done absolutely fucking nothing. What are you holding on to? You got an aging player in Kevin Durant who's getting older and can't stay healthy either. They both can't stay healthy. And it's just like this Kyrie Irving guy is really becoming a pain in the ass. But this is the ass that y'all kiss. This is the guy that y'all treat like God. You know? And it's just like, at this point, you're going to keep a guy who doesn't want to be there. Why not let him go? Release him. That's right. Release him. You're going to lose. And it's better this way to keep kissing his ass and begging him to stay. If he does not want to stay, let him fucking go. Just like it's just like that chick, that chick that doesn't want to be with you. Why well, keep holding on to her? Let her fucking go. And that's what the Brooklyn Nets need to do: trade some trade and see what can you get in the market for him for the trade the trading deadline. Get his ass up out of Brooklyn because you don't need this team is really not that bad. You know, Nick Claxton has played pretty well. Um, Joe Harris has stepped up. When when Steph, when Seth is out there, he's he's balling. Um, Patty Mills has played pretty well. I like this. I like this team. I watch them a lot. They're very fun to watch. And you got Kyrie, you got K K D coming back in a couple of weeks. I think you got a legitimate title contender in Brooklyn. I like Jack Vaughn. He's a no nonsense. He's a he's a uh, players coach. A lot of guys. He's taught. He's he's a motivator. You know he's 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 you know he's positive in his uh, post game um speeches and I like I like I like Jock Vaughn. You know even though he you know he's a Jayhawk too. So I mean he's he's, he's a likable guy and they have the Brooklyn Nets have been over backwards. To please Kyrie Irving. And this is how you're going to treat these people? Now you're ready to run. And I hate to say this, man. But you know what? Kevin Durant is getting what the fuck he deserves. I feel no sympathy for him. And I know y'all going to say, well, Dane, what he did to stuff was four years ago. But what I'm saying is the energy, listen to this. The energy you put out is the energy you're going to always get back. I, I just, you know, Kevin Durant is, is a coward, too. Because I remember 2019. Uh, Steph was doing a, um, I think he was doing an a Under Armour event in Tokyo. I think that was right after the NBA Finals when they lost to the Raptors, right? He was trying, they said, because they had a meeting set up in New York on that Sunday. Steph Curry was flying all the way, was flying from Tokyo to New York to meet up with KD to see if he was going to re-sign with, with, with the Dubs, right? While Kyrie, uh, one minute, while Stephen Curry is in the sky, right? Kevin Durant goes on Instagram and and tells the world that he's going he's going to the Brooklyn Nets. Why would you do Stephen Curry like that? After that man sacrificed 
took a step back so you can win. Because it's obvious he really didn't need you. But you wanted to come there, why not? And obviously, it's going to show you when he won that finals MVP last year. He, sacri- he took a back seat so, so, you can, so you can be comfortable with the Golden State Warriors offense. Even Clay step, took a step back because they liked you there. But you go to Brooklyn, and it has been nothing but a total disaster. It's been a disaster. <laughs> and it's going to show you, you treated Stephen Curry like that. You couldn't, I mean, think about it. Kevin Durant, I'm going to get back on Kyrie, right? But I don't feel sorry for Kevin Durant. You couldn't be a man and call that man and say, look, don't fly. I'm going to the Brooklyn Nets. You had that man in the air. That man, you know, that was about an eight or nine hour flight. And you don't waste that man time to come meet with you when you already decided that you were going to the Brooklyn Nets. All you had to do was tell him. Just like you did Russ. Russ played with you for nine years, dude. And I know that it's, I know first thing y'all going to say that this is, oh, no, but they, but the things you, the things you do to people, it comes back to haunt you. He was going to the Warriors. All he had to do was call Russ and say, look, I'm going to another team. You won't, man. Russ had to find out on TV that you was going to the Warriors. And y'all supposed to be friends and boys, and you turned on you turned on him. So Kyrie Irving doing this to KD, he got he's getting what he deserved. Because when you mistreat people, it comes back to bite you. All those people in Oklahoma City, and you turned your back on them. I don't feel sorry for Kevin Durant. He's getting what he deserves. Just like Kyrie Irving, he's a crybaby. But this is the ass that you guys continue to kiss. This is the guy that you continue to worship. You worship Kyrie Irving. He's a great basketball player, but he's an asshole as a person. And if the Brooklyn Nets um, keep him after after him after him asking for a trade, you know what? They are being they are being bitches. Because I don't give a fuck about winning. At some point, when did the Brooklyn Nets got some kind of self respect? He doesn't want to be here. Trade him. If you get something back in return, it might not be equal return. But you get something that you can build on. Get some type of compensation. They keep they keep keeping the guy in the locker room that doesn't want to be there. It's nothing but cancer. It doesn't work. Kyrie Irving does not want to be in Brooklyn. Trade his ass. And you go get you somebody else and move on. Then you can get maybe get you some dry picks that can help. Cause Kyrie Irving is not a spring chicken. He'll be he's what thirty. He'll be thirty one this year. He's a great player, but he's just an asshole. He's a quitter. He's a coward. But you guys don't want to hear it. Now I want to keep kissing his ass. Uh, outside, let me ask you a question. Outside the Cleveland Cavaliers, what the hell has Kyrie ever done? But Jack score a bunch of points and do and come in the playoffs and come up short. You know, ran from Brooklyn. Now you ready? My bad. You ran from Boston. Hell, Boston has done better without you. They've been to three Eastern Conference championships and a finals without you. So they're doing better without you. You ain't nothing but a headache. He can be replaced. Point guards come a dime a dozen. You know, he just, to me, he just looked like an ultimate bitch. He is being a bitch. That you can't carry the load while Katie is out. And, you know, I just don't, I don't feel sorry for Katie. You know, and the thing, I, I, I kind of feel bad for him, but I, then, then I don't. Because the way that you mistreat people, it comes back to bite you in the ass. So Katie had this shit coming. But this is your friend, right? You know, and I notice how KD is always kissing Kyrie Irving's ass, right? But look how he's done KD. He didn't even want to take that shot last year. You know why? Because he didn't. He could have took that shot. She could have took that shot last year. He just didn't want to. He didn't want to. He didn't want to do it because he doesn't want to be in Brooklyn. 
And I'm not, my only sign I feel bad about KD is that KD put his trust in him. And look how he betrayed him. He betrayed KD. But, you know, look what KD did to Steph. Steph took a, a nine-hour flight. And you couldn't even, you could have been a man and say, look, I'm going to the Brooklyn Nets. That's all you had to do was pick up the phone. That's like Russ. You, Russ had to find out on TV July the 4th, 2016, that he was going to the Warriors. That was some coward shit. You know, you can't, you, you get, you get people, you do people wrong, it comes back to bite you. For two rings, the KD got these two worthless ass rings that don't mean shit. Because last year proved everything. People, I know, I know people, I know people always are here saying, well, the Warriors ain't doing shit this year, but they won a championship last year. They won a championship without KD. So what that prove? That stuff really didn't really, they really didn't need you. You were just icing on the cake. You know what I'm saying? You went there, and them two meaningless rings don't mean shit. KD got what he deserved. But, you know, Kyrie Irving, he's the ultimate bitch, man. He weak. He's a weak. He's weak. And I have no respect for this guy. You know, why I'm the Brooklyn Nets trader? See what you can get. Because what about your teammates? Your team, them young guys out there fighting, playing hard every night. And you don't want to be there? That kills the, the morale of the locker room. KD's already out. And you're going to pull this bullshit. Which I know y'all, um, Kyrie Irving, uh, dick riders, I know y'all not going to like this video, just like some of my other videos. Why? Because I don't kiss these players' asses. I'm not doing it. Because y'all don't never want to hold these guys accountable. Y'all treat these people like God. Y'all be worshiping Kyrie Irving outside LeBron, outside that shot he hit on Curry seven years ago. He's done nothing but talk, talk a good game, and do and come out short in the playoffs. He has done nothing in Boston. He's done nothing in Brooklyn anyway. And if they do get KD and Kyrie for the playoffs, all they're gonna do is flame out. All they're gonna do is flame out and go home. So why not just? Let this experiment, just let it go. If KD don't, KD said he don't want to be there, get his ass up out of there too. Anybody can be replaced. Stop treating these players like they got, man. They have a lot of talent. But do, do, do Brooklyn Nets got to keep kissing their ass? If he does not want to be there, trade his ass. And I'm out.